Welcome to Stay Brainy, Stay Curious. Get a daily dose of brain-powering puzzles and riddles in the form of shorts on our channel. Then check your answers by watching the corresponding videos with detailed solutions to the brain teasers. Either confirm that you're a genius or learn from the answers to become a future genius. It's a win-win. So what are we waiting for? Let the fun begin. As a warm-up, let's have a little fun with this rebus. Deducing from the pictures and the letters given, can you guess what country this is? Well, let's solve it together. The first image looks like it's a hospital. However, the letters H-O-S-P are crossed out, so we're gonna take them away. That leaves us with Ital. Then, we just add the Y, giving us Italy. That was way too easy, wasn't it? Well, then let's do something harder. This is a matchstick puzzle. 8 times 3 isn't 16. Your job is to find one matchstick and move it somewhere else to fix this equation. You cannot take a matchstick completely away and you definitely cannot use it to simply cross out the equal sign. Can you do it? So this matchstick puzzle actually has two possible answers. The first solution is to take the top right vertical match from the 8 and shift it over to the 6 in the answer. What happens is the 8 becomes a 6 and the 16 becomes 18. 6 times 3 is 18 indeed. The second solution is to take the bottom vertical match from the 3 and shift it ever so slightly to the left making it a 2. You now have 8 times 2 equals 16, which is also correct. <laughs> Taking a break from the numbers, let's tackle this fun little riddle. Listen to this. In my world, tomorrow follows today, but yesterday follows tomorrow. What am I? It's a dictionary. Why? Because everything is in alphabetical order in the dictionary. Which means the word tomorrow comes after the word today and the word yesterday comes after the word tomorrow. Aha! Uh -huh. Find the odd one out. This childish brain teaser may prove to be tougher than you think. Do you know which one doesn't belong? It's the banana. It's the only fruit that is not round. Cool! If you thought that was too easy, here's a little challenge for your brain. Looking at the shapes below, can you figure out the pattern? All right, let's take a closer look at the sequence. We're gonna tackle the inside the rectangle first. We need to figure out whether it's going to be vertical or horizontal. Looking at the previous shapes, we see that there is indeed a pattern here. Vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, something, and then horizontal. That tells me that the missing inside rectangle must be vertical. Okay, let's move on to the outside shape now. We started with a hexagon, then a circle, then a square, then back to hexagon, something, and then square again. Looks like the shape in question must be a circle. Finally, let's figure out the shading. The shading of the outside figure follows a pattern of light gray, dark gray, white, light gray, something, and white again. That means that our circle must be dark gray. Lastly, the color of the inside rectangle. What's the pattern we see? Gray, gray, white, white. 
Next two must be gray gray, so our rectangle must be gray. The final shape looks like this, a dark gray circle with a vertical gray rectangle on the inside. C is the only answer that matches our figure. So there you have it, C is the correct answer. Now if that wasn't enough, you're getting hit with another challenging brain teaser. This will require some mental math skills on your part. Are you up for it? Let's start with the top line. Flower plus flower equals 20. If two flowers equal 20, that means that one flower is equal to 10. Easy. Now that we know that the flower is equal to 10, we can plug it into the second equation. 10 times leaf equals 20. If 10 leaves are equal to 20, then one leaf is equal to 2. Next, we can take the value of the leaf and plug it into the third equation. A daisy divided by 2 times 2 equals 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Multiply both sides by 4. We get daisy equals to 8. All we have to do now is take all the values and place them in lieu of flowers and leaves in the final equation. 10 minus 2 times 3 times 8. Remember to do multiplication first. 3 daisies are equal to 24. 2 times 24 is 48. 10 minus 48 is equal to negative 38. So the correct answer to this equation is negative 38. You'd be surprised how many people got this wrong. Here's another find the odd one out, arguably more logical than the previous one. There can only be one correct answer here. Can you tell which one? Here's the pattern that each picture should follow. For whatever number of sticks that go in one direction, there should be one less stick going in the opposite direction. Take a look. In picture A, there are four sticks going one way and three going the other way. The difference in the number of sticks is exactly one. Same for picture B. Two sticks versus one stick. In C, we've got three sticks versus two. In D, it's six sticks versus five going across. But E is the only picture that doesn't follow the pattern. We've got five sticks going one way and five sticks going the other way. Picture E is the odd one out. Cool! Number sequences are actually a great way to test your cognitive skills. This one is a rather difficult one to crack, so let's see if you've got what it takes. Ready to be astonished? Here we go. There are actually two separate patterns here. The first one starts with the first number, the 1. We multiply it by 3, which gives us the third number, the 3. Multiply that 3 and we get 9, the fifth number, each time skipping a number in between. The second pattern starts with the second number, the 3 here. We add 4 to it to get the next number in the sequence, again each time skipping the number in between. The number in question follows the first pattern. We take the 9, multiply it by 3, and get 27. 27 is the next number in the sequence. If I were to ask you what comes after 27, what would your answer be? It should be 11 plus 4, which is 15. And this is the last brain teaser of the day. Numbers move aside, we're gonna work on our verbal reasoning skills. Find the letter that will finish the first word and start the second word of each pair. Remember, the same letter must be used for both pairs. What's the missing letter? If you said L, you are absolutely correct. If you put L in place of the question mark, you'd get curl, lap, steel, and low, all of which exist in the English vocabulary. Yay!
And we are done. How did you do today? Did you manage to solve most of the puzzles? Continue watching our videos and your code cracking skills will improve exponentially. I hope you learned something new, I hope you had fun, and I hope you always stay brainy. See you soon!